So here we have a lovely NVIDIA Quadro P1000 with 4 gig RAM and we're going to unbox this and set it up. Now just uh, as we uh, go through this, just before we go through this let's uh, just explain where this fits in the family. There's a P600, a P1000, a 2000 and a 4000 and uh, to be brief all of them are PCI version 3, all of them are running the same architecture which is Pascal and they're all running a DDR5, GDDR5. So it really gets down to, uh, as far as differences go, uh, it really gets down to things like the number of pipelines, the amount of RAM, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so let's run through that quickly. So the 600, which is one step down from this, has 384 pipelines. This has 640. The 2000 is 1024, and the 4000 has almost 1800. Um, as far as RAM goes, the 600 has 2 gig. This one has 4 gig. That's the P1000. And you scale up from there again for the 2000 and 4000. The RAM speed also makes a big difference. Uh, on the uh, ones down from this, the 600, it's 5 gigahertz. On the, on the uh, 1000, which is this one, it is 6 gigahertz. On the 2000, it's 700. And on the 4000, it's 7.6 gigahertz. So quite a difference. Uh, floating point, also a big difference. So the one step down from this is 1100. This one's 1900. But if you move up to the 2000, it's 3000. And if you move to the P4000, it's 5300. So quite a jump. Uh, now, all of that gets down to benchmarks. So what we've done is I've synthesized uh, a whole lot of benchmarks into a very simplified standard. And to make this very straightforward, um, let's use the P600 as 100%. This works out to, and it depends up obviously on what you're doing, so please don't write nasty messages in the comments about how in this particular use case it's, it's totally different or it's useless or it's the best. Let's use the 600 as a benchmark of 100. If we synthesize a lot of other benchmarks, this unit, the 1000, comes out at about uh, 125. The P2000 comes out about 200, about, it's about twice as good as the 600 and the 4000 is about three times as good. So um, so you have an idea where these are. I'll put this up in a chart so we don't have to uh, you know, ramble through too much. Okay, let's open this up and see what's in it. Wow, paper manuals still. In 2021, paper manuals, no kidding. Okay, well, that seems needless, but that's what it is. Let's just put that aside. Got the card, and it's a full height card with, uh, I'm sure, because I need it, a half height block. That's the big advantage to the 1000, is you can get it in a half height, which is, in my case, needed to go in a small form factor Dell. So I actually really do need that. So let's uh, let's just get through that. Okay, it's not there. Nothing else in the foam. Okay, so hopefully that adapter uh, plate for the front is in here. Really hope so, or it's going back to the store. <laughs> there it is. Uh, there's the other plate. Okay, great. So there's the adapters, and the, the adapters, by the way, let's just open this up. The adapters are because the unit ships with mini DisplayPort, and you probably want full DisplayPort or HDMI. DisplayPort does scale down to HDMI, so you can use anything digital with this, which would be DisplayPort, HDMI, or DVI, old school. I'd like to interject for just 10 seconds and ask you to click like if you found this video useful. Our site is dedicated to explaining technology in simple ways and providing cookbook answers for technical problems. We spend a lot of time on Windows 10 and Windows Server. We spend a lot of time at Azure, Office 365, but mostly our products are about how-tos. Lots and lots of cookbooks like how to uninstall something when it's stuck. If you would click subscribe, we would greatly appreciate it. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. Thanks for your help and back to the show. And the plate I'm going to change right this second. So I need to get this into a half height system. So not very hard to change this if you've never done it before. Just pop the screws out. Uh, any small Phillips screwdriver will do. Phillips in case you're not aware is the star. Not near as good as Robertson, but not a lot of Americans have Robertson, so they typically 
use Phillips. Alright, just going into a Dell Optiplex. I need to take the knockout out, which is ready to come out. I just need to twist it. There it is. Out. And then pop this in. There we go. Put that down. And we're just powered up and we're good to go. So as you can see here, it comes up with the Microsoft basic display adapter, but All right, so uh, Let's head off to our friend mr. Nvidia.com pull down the drivers And there we are And we'll throw up some benchmarks. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below, or you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's U R T E C H. C A. If you found this video useful, please click like, and if you find this type of thing useful, please click subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye bye.